Hi, and welcome back to my build series on YouTube. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about what I'm running on my Magicka Sorcerer. Uh, thing is, there's a lot of different ideas about best in slot and um, and whatnot, including like, should I use the Sigic uh, skill elemental weapon? Uh, the answer for me right now is no. I'm parsing much lower uh, using that than I'm using you know anything else uh... so i'm going to give you guys my personal uh... magic of sorcerer build that i'm running this patch uh... the numbers aren't hitting exactly where i'd like them to hit uh... but they're they're doing okay and it's actually a very very easy build to come across the the hardest part will be uh... your maelstrom staff but uh... Um, yeah, so let's get into uh, my stat sheet really fast. I've got a screenshot of uh, my character buffed up, but I will actually uh, show you right now on live uh, what that looks like. Okay, so my spell damage is right around 4k, uh, fully buffed. And uh, fully buffed up, my magic recovery is up around 1500. Um, I am using the Apprentice, and I am a High Elf. Uh, best in slot <coughs> race for the Magicka Sorcerer, this patch would be Dark Elf. Um, but High Elf will still parse uh, fairly high. Um, so I'm hitting uh, pretty darn close to uh, 37 with a sloppy rotation and uh, bad internet. So someone running this build could p feasibly hit uh, 40k uh, without any trouble at all. Um, so let's get into the uh, the champion points before we start talking about skills. I'm only going to show the blue tree because that's the only one that matters. Uh, last patch we were specking heavily into Elfborn because uh, Mechanical Acuity was good. Uh, this patch, Mechanical Acuity, is still good. It's not the best, though. Um, if you're going to run a crit set, you should run Mo Mother Sorrow on front, and then something for the body. Probably, maybe Julianos or something like that. Um, or, if you can, if you have access to it, the Mantle of Sororia is really good. Um, I've only got access to it on my Magblade, and I don't like to hop gear, so I'm running uh, what I'm running right now until I get that. So this is going to be the easy build. This is what I'm going to call this one. Um, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> 49 Elemental Expert. That hasn't changed this patch. Uh, we want that flat 11% uh, extra damage to uh, Flame, Frost, Shock, and Magic because that is prime. That is our bread and butter as a Magic of Sorcerer because we're using Force Pulse as our spammable. Spell Erosion, I've taken that down. I was running quite a bit actually. I, I was a bit surprised at myself for how much uh, spell erosion I was running last patch which was about 38 I think and uh, I was having a hard time getting over uh, 35k and that, that's that been my goal with the Magicka Sorcerer for, for a few patches now is to hit that and keep it there because I don't want to run pets. Pets uh, seem to be a, a detriment and a lot of groups don't want uh, people to run them so the non-pet is where it's at. Okay, so that does it for the mage tree. Let's try this one here. Alright, so staff expert. They buffed up the light attack um, damage, so what I did was I spec'd a little bit more into staff expert than I usually do. I brought it up to a 10% um, damage increase. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm running 16 into Staff Expert. Master at Arms, uh, Force Pulse is our direct damage, so we are specking heavily into that. Uh, 72 points into Master at Arms. And we're running a bit more in Thermaturge this patch as well, so we're running uh, 51 into Thermaturge. Um, I had two extra points. My goal was to be running uh, 12 Spell Erosion. Uh, I had two extra points, and... Uh, any like neither tree I'd get diminishing returns if I didn't put it into spell erosion so that's what I did is I just threw the extra two points into there but yeah so that's that's uh, the CP now let's uh, get into the skills here 
Uh, so my force pulse is my uh, spammable. Um, it it uh, gives you all the uh, the status effects from your destruction tree passive, burning chilled and concussed, um, and it's it's really good. So th this is the spammable for the build that I'm running. Um, I've got my execute on front bar because I'm running an inferno on the front bar. And that is Mage's Wrath. You could run the other one, Endless Fury. It's fine. Uh, I just run this one because you get that extra AoE damage. Um, Crystal Fragments. We're running this, uh, and we are most definitely... Um, I think they buffed up Crystal Frags on the sly. But uh, we're most definitely only casting this when we see the crystals around our hands. And we see the little thing, like if you if you know your rotation inside and out, which the rotation is actually pretty uh, complicated for the non-pet. Uh, it, it revolves around haunting curse. If you know that rotation, then you can just watch your buffs, and uh, you'll see when frags pops every time. You just got to count your force pulses too, because we are using the asylum staff, and we don't want to weapon swap on the the asylum proc. Uh, inner light, uh, we are. Uh, using inner light for extra magicka and uh, the spell critical is good too just in case our potion falls off which we don't allow that to happen bound aegis this has been changed as a toggle uh, but it still gives you that extra eight percent um, increase in magicka so we're we're double barring uh, bound aegis most definitely um, so when you cast this now it doesn't turn it off what it does is it allows you to block and you mitigate an extra 20% of damage which I mean it's good honestly I would probably use that on like if I had a sork tank I'd probably use that that's what I would use um, and our ultimate on the front bar we're not using this except for single target um, fights uh, we're not using this at all really. We're, the only reason why we're using this uh, is for the extra magicka you get from the from the uh, Mage's Guild passive. Um, I think it's Magicka Controller. I'll show you that in a little bit here. I still haven't leveled up my dark magic. Uh, it's so bad. Anyway. On the back bar. Uh, we are running Blockade of Storms. Um, Blockade is a really good ability. You could run the Unstable uh, Wall of Elements. I don't recommend it, uh, but you could. Uh, Harney Curse. Um, still haven't got that fully leveled, but uh, it's, a, it's a very good ability. Uh, our whole rotation revolves around uh, this. I believe it's 12 seconds. Yeah, it's about yeah, it's a 12 second uh, ability. It explodes after three and a half seconds, and then it explodes after another eight and a half seconds. So, like, you get a rotation and a half, and then you got to recast it, basically, how it works. And then you get yeah. So it, it's it's kind of complicated to be honest, but uh, once you get it, it's it's pretty much like riding a bike. You know, it just comes to you. You you never forget it. Liquid Lightning is on the back bar still. A lot of people want to sit, tell you to put uh, Liquid Lightning on front bar. To me, that complicates the, it unnecessarily complicates the rotation, and I don't do it. Bound Aegis is once again here because um, we double bar it for the extra magicka and uh, in place. That was there for testing purposes, Elemental Drain, but uh, I'm still running Hardened Ward as my shield. Now, I haven't, I just haven't respect, but when I do respect, and I will, I'm going to put Empowered Ward instead, because I don't need the extra, like, huge shield that Hardened Ward gives, and I'd like to provide more group utility uh, for any groups that I run with as a Magicka Sorcerer. Uh, my back bar, um, I am running the... Uh, Thunderous Rage. Thunderous Rage is a uh, a very good ultimate. Um, just it's it's a longer ultimate, so you get more damage out of it anyway because it's longer. Uh, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, 
We take all our passes and light armor. Uh, we take the two juggernauts. Uh, I am a vampire. Uh, I am a vampire for this passive and this passive. Uh, undeath reduces damage taken by up to 33% based on your missing health while you're below 50% health. And supernatural recovery gives you an extra magicka and stamina recovery by 10%. It's actually really, really good. Sigic Order. Uh, talking about this skill, this is actually a good skill. I honestly parse lower using it. And it might be because of it's not leveled up all the way or something. I'm not sure what I'm missing on it. But to me, uh, this skill isn't worth running uh, until I get more comfortable with it. And, you know, I'll make a build video if I get more comfortable with it and I start parsing higher with it. But for now, I'm, I'm leaving it on the back burner. Uh, we take both of our passes in Undaunted. Like I said, I'm a high elf, and of course, all my builds, we uh, do three medicinal use. Um, so let's get into gear. So first and foremost, uh, because this is the easy build, uh, this, this is going to be uh, my front bar, the Asylum Inferno Staff. Now it is... I, I recommend heavily that you gold out both of your staffs on any of your magic attunes. That will increase your DPS by a lot. It's it's pretty insane how just a small little thing like that can make or break a build. Uh, so gold it out. Don't don't hold on to your mats. Just just gold it out. It's fine. You'll get more. So it's a, the Asylum Inferno Staff on the front. Uh, every third cast of Force Shock will always apply the Burning Concussion and Chilled Status effects. It's all three. Um, and then you got 10 second timer to do it. So, I mean, y you'll be constantly proccing this thing. Uh, because we do rely on like a five Force Pulses, basically, in between every um, Elemental Blockade and Liquid Lightning. So, or six, probably usually six if you could fit them in there. But on the back bar, we're running an infused Maelstrom Lightning Staff. Um, this is the hardest thing to get. You need to farm a, a Lightning Staff and just transmute it um, if you can, if you can get in there and do it. If not, uh, it's okay. You can craft one. You will lose out on probably two or three K DPS without a maelstrom. Uh, either lightning or inferno. You could run inferno too. It's I mean it's perfectly fine. I don't even know if I actually have a good yeah, there's a Nernhound Inferno in my inventory. Um so I've got precise and inferno, but um and Nernhound I mean Infernos, but you definitely want a maelstrom staff on on one of your bars on your back bar preferably so uh, for the monster set I'm running Zan's uh, Zan just does an insane amount of damage and if you're a dark elf this would actually uh, be improved to the damage from it you probably you probably parse pretty high as a dark elf honestly I'm not even gonna lie so if if you do have a dark elf sorcerer uh, good on you um, uh, Julianos is my main set. Um, it just has so much, so many benefits, and it's it's just flat damage, which is exactly what I need out of my build. I need the flat damage. I don't want to be uh, messing with the crit RNG and stuff like that. I I want to just be doing flat out damage. So this is the the bread and butter set that I'm using. And it's actually working out really great, honestly. I'm, I'm parsing much higher than I did last patch. Um, and then my three jewelry is willpower, and I use willpower because I don't. I'm not using a minor slayer uh, set. So um, when you use a minor slayer set, the fourth bonus is always uh, spell damage. It's always 129 at the gold level. 
Uh, the math works out where this actually beats out um, using a three-piece Minor Slayer set um, as opposed to a four-piece. Now, if you're using a four-piece Minor Slayer set, then you wouldn't be using uh, willpower. You'd be using like you'd be using something like this. So, um, so yeah, that's the gear that I'm running. Um, I'll include a parse at the end of this video uh, using this exact setup. I hope this helped you guys. And uh, this, th like I said, this is just the easy to obtain uh, Magicka Sorcerer build that I have going on here. So uh, take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. I should have learned to play them drums. Look at that mama, she got it sticking in the camera, man. And we could have some Andy's up there. What's that? Hawaiian noises. He's banging on the bundles like a chimpanzee. Oh, that ain't working. That's, That's the way you do it. Do it. Get your money. money for nothing. Get your chicks for free. We got to install microwave oven Custom kitchen deliveries We got to move these refrigerators We got to move these color TVs Ain't working. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing and your chicks for 